Okay, so this is a question from Matthew, and uh, we're going to try and sort this out, because it's actually a good question. What's more important, low loft launching shaft or a high loft low launching shaft scenario? The truth is the head is king, right? If you change the loft on the head, that gets the most dramatic difference in launch and spin. So you go 9, 10, 5, 12, like new Callaway stuff, same shaft, you'll see the pitch and the angle and the spin change accordingly. If you have the same loft, you change the shaft, you might change it by 400 revs, maybe half a degree. That's what I call fine tuning. So head shaft grip is still prevalent, or should I say loft shaft grip, but getting the head right is part of the key of my job of the fit. So when you come in for a fit, or when you go for a fit, getting the right head for you in terms of spin rate. So look at now the, let's use Calabria as an example. You've got an 815 and double diamond, the two black diamonds on the bottom. Look similar, the double diamond is a bit taller, a bit less spinny, a bit blockier. That's going to spin less. So as soon as you're coming into the studio, like Matthew for instance, I know him, he spins it pretty low. He needs to spin it a little bit more and hit it in the air. D2 tight list, 815 is good. SLDR 430, double diamond, it's going to be tough. He might like the look of it, that's okay, but it ain't going to spin enough. So that conversation's got to be met head on. You can't use that product because it's not going to spin. Because unless you're going to go that way on it. Now he can play a bit, so that's going to struggle for him. So, be aware when you look at the new stuff, there's loads of stuff coming out now, there's all the toys coming out early. Be careful that you get the spin and launch right and then you work on the shaft bit, okay? Now we do shaft first, head, loft second, because we know within probably about 10 swings where someone is spin and launch wise, so we can go A, B, C, which one do you like? But if you're not going to someone that's experienced or you know whatever, work on the launch angle first with the loft and the club head, and then go on the shaft, all right? Good question, as ever, happy to help. Thanks a lot.